stages of the rocket can separate. So watch for that. Victor yeah. and We certainly will. Kristen Fisher, thank you so much. Joining us now is former NASA astronaut Leroy Chow. Leroy, uh, good morning to you, veteran of four space missions. And it really is remarkable how much uh, relies not just the private sector space exploration, but the future of NASA missions on this program, this uh, test, and what happens in the next 20 to 40 minutes. Absolutely. Uh, this is a huge deal. Starship and Falcon Super Heavy will revolutionize the launch industry. NASA very much tied into it, using uh, having contracted with Starship to use Starship technology to develop the lunar lander for its Artemis program. So everything is, is tied together, as you said. So tell us, you know, what happen what has to happen this time around? This is the second time that they're attempting this launch. The first time was a spectacular uh, failure. Uh, uh, and, and a lot of things have to align, right? Because there are 33 engines that have to fire at the same time. And I remember the last time around, I think Krista was mentioning this, that the launch pad, it was completely destroyed. Right. So I would characterize the first attempt actually is quite a success because Elon Musk said, you know, they have a philosophy of, hey, let's break it, fix it and keep breaking it until, you know, we get it right. And so he considered clearing the launch tower, that is not having the vehicle explode on the pad, a success. And it went through almost a full first stage burn uh, as problems were developing. So a number of changes have been made. You mentioned the launch pad itself. They've added a big iron uh, water cooled uh, steel ablator to uh, help with that. They've added a water deluge system uh, similar to what NASA uses to you know, control the uh, vibrations. So a lot of modifications to the vehicle. Uh, the Raptor engines, as you mentioned, 33 of them, that's a lot. And they have installed electric actuators so they don't have to depend on hydraulic systems to gimbal or move those engines to steer. They've added a purge system, which will uh, help uh, to keep explosive gases from building up in that aft end. They've added a hot stage section where Starship will ideally light its engines before separation occurs, thereby helping to ensure a successful separation of Starship away from the stack. So a lot of things have been done. Ideally, this mission will go off very successfully and we'll see a, a successful flight test of Falcon Super Heavy. But frankly, a lot of people consider getting through that hot staging uh, a, a criteria for major success. If this goes off uh, as they hope, this first uh, successful test of Starship. How long until manned tests of, of Starship? If this, uh, if this goes off completely successful, that is Starship actually gets into space and splashes down as planned just off of the Hawaiian Islands, uh, that would be a very successful flight test. And SpaceX has a reputation of moving quickly compared to traditional aerospace. So I would expect human flights to be not that far away, just a few years away, because they intend to keep up this cadence of testing. They can build and fly these vehicles quickly. Uh, it's very much uh, you know, analogous in a way to the Gemini program back when we were trying to get to the moon. Uh, we, we ran the Gemini program just a couple of years, had a, a lot of launches. I can't remember the exact number off the top of my head but well over 11 launches. Uh, we learned so much and that really helped bootstrap us to the Apollo program. So uh, Starship, again, I think they can, they can react very quickly. Just the first test was in May and April and here we are uh, flying again. We, the only holdup was the, the, uh, the launch license, right? So uh, SpaceX as a company can move very quickly. It's such a cool looking rocket. I think it's because it's black and it's stainless steel. And obviously it's it's just what 400 feet tall, huge. It's and, sleek yeah, for as sleek as a thing sleek, that big yeah. can be. But what yeah. would you expect, right? The maker right. of um, uh, Tesla not having a cool looking rocket. Leroy Chow, thank you very much. Would you sign My that pleasure. waiver? No. I Really? I'd like to watch it on television. It's good. <laughs> That's enough for me. I would love to be there and feel the ground shake. Well, first of all, is coming up at the top of the hour. What do we have coming up, Victor? So uh, this week we had the uh, first Jewish conference.